Hey guys, this is a pre-announcement of a live stream I'm having coming up, a Q&A on the upcoming Kyiv Grand Ball event. Thirteen of you guys have already registered, that's great. Um, a lot of you guys have questions. Some of you guys have already locked in your early bird special, which is 500 bucks. Uh, so that's great. So I've decided to do a live Q&A this weekend. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please subscribe, smash that bell so you'll get a YouTube notification when I go live to answer all you guys' questions. So there's been 10 questions that have come in so far and I'm gonna answer that in this pre-live announcement video, okay? Question number one, uh, tell us a little bit about the Grand Ball event. I will play our promo video at the end of this video so you can see what it's all about, okay? Um, then the main question is when? When's it going to be, Joe? So it's going to be either in mid-June, mid-July, or mid-August. And what we're doing is we're asking you guys when is the best date for you? Because uh, there's only 10 guys coming to this thing. There'll only be 10 guys and 30 ladies, so 40 people. So keeps it boutique, keeps it grand ballish, you know, classy, what good girls like. I'm just between the Black Sea and the mainland here in Sergivka, Ukraine, just in case you're curious. It's a beautiful pre-summer day here. And we'll have basically event in whichever month um, that suits most of you guys, okay? Again, only 10 guys. So if we do have you know, a spillover and more guys, we will have a second event. Second most common question is where will it be held? It'll be held in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, right in the very center, in an old building in their grand ballroom with a big ass chandelier in the top. Very, like I say, grand ballish. What's Kyiv's lockdown situation or Ukraine's? May 1st, lockdown ended in Ukraine. So now we're just on a quarantine situation. Um, you know, masks technically required in most places, but it's pretty much life as usual in most places in, in Ukraine right now. Uh, almost everything is open, even churches are open. So <laughs> come, you're welcome. In terms of flying in requirements, you need to produce as usual a PCR test within 72 hours of arrival, negative of course, and have medical insurance, which is about 30 bucks. We can give you the link. You can buy it online before you leave. So pretty normal requirements. And then of course you want to, usually most countries get a negative PCR test before you fly home. Another big question you guys are asking is, what's with this, uh, you get to invite three ladies from our 1500 ladies in our database. Very cool, because one of the big ne negatives in what are called socials in this industry is that you, you don't really know who's gonna show up. Um, they promise a set of confirmed ladies, but then who's gonna show up and then um, there might only be a handful of ladies that you're interested in, you know, your age category, your type, etc. And what if very few or none of them shows up? This happens to a lot of guys in the industry socials. So what you get to do is you get to choose three ladies and make sure that they're confirmed and they're coming to meet you. So let's say you invite out three, two say yes, one says no, you invite another one. She says no, you invite another one until you get three confirmed ladies that are coming just to meet you. So that's pretty cool. The next point is the bonus. The bonus is kick ass, guys. Uh, the bonus is in itself worth the sticker price, the full sticker price of this Kyiv Grand Ball event, which is two grand. The bonus is, let's say you're not lucky with your three ladies. No chemistry, no common interest, whatever. So in this event, uh, for seven days after the event, you're entitled to meet an unlimited number of ladies from our 1500 ladies in our database. So you want to make sure you come for at least, and this is the next question, how long should I come for? At least eight days come for, because you've got the event, and then you want to have seven days of unlimited dating afterwards, or at least allow uh, for yourself that. Oh yeah, another big question is, can I get girls' contact information? Yes, you can. You can get as many girls' contact information as you want to ask for at the event, and there'll be 30 ladies approximately, so you can, if you want, you can get all 30 of their contact information, if they'll give it to you, if they like you, right? Um, and then, during the seven days of unlimited dating, well, of course, when you go on a date, you ask her uh, for her contact information. If you guys like each other, she'll give it to you, right? Now, how many days do I actually recommend you come for? Two weeks. That's ideal time. Well, actually ideal as long as you can because there's no time clock for real love, right guys? But 
eight days of dating, let's say, but then you need time to have second, third dates to choose your lady, which is not an easy task, and then focus on hopefully one lady and win her heart, right? And get her to fall in love with you. So how long does that take, right? <laughs> Where should you stay? Well, we recommend someplace in the center, in the Maidan Center, close to our office. The reason being it's important because all your dates will start from our office. She shows up there, you come there and it's a neutral you know, meeting ground so she feels most comfortable and then you head out and go away on your date. So it's good to be close to the Maidan Center because our office is right around the corner from the Maidan McDonald's. Now I suggest you just use Airbnb. It's safe, it's secure, um, of course they have the best reputation um, and there's a lot of available apartments for say $30, $40 a night. Gets you a really nice three to four star you know, apartment. What if Ukraine goes into lockdown again? Oh no. What if your country goes into lockdown again? What if for whatever reason, it is COVID era, you never know. We live day to day these days. Um, so there's no expiry date on your ticket. If you can't make it for whatever reason, uh, no questions asked, you just come to the next event for whatever you want. No expiry date on your ticket, fair enough? What if you one of the guys that already bought a ticket for our country grand ball, which is held uh, in Zatoka or nearby city Belgrade Nostrovsky in Odessa Oblast region. It is a different event. It's mostly country girls and it's a much lower cost base. So if you've already paid for that ticket, you can either get that money credited towards the Kyiv Grand Ball event, or you can wait until we have our country Grand Ball, which we're hoping to do this summer as well. COVID force majeure in place, of course. Now, as I mentioned in the Kyiv Grand Ball promo video, which will be uh, playing automatically at the end of this video, as I mentioned, you need to choose your three ladies that you invite as your personal invitees to the Grand Ball from Kyiv region. That's included in your ticket price. Now, if you happen to be fall in love with a lady that's from another city or town or village around Ukraine, uh, you can invite her, certainly. There will be a charge of $150 per lady. It covers her train ticket and one night's accommodation for her. Now, a little bit about our database. Most ladies speak conversational English. I'm gonna say about 75%. 75% um, approximately are from Kyiv uh, region. The other 25% are from, you know, cities, villages, and small towns sprinkled all across Ukraine. But certainly we do have a lot of country girls in there too. And a lot of ladies that are living in Kyiv, like my wife Anna, <laughs> who lived in Kyiv for 17 years, she's from a small city in the south here, where we live now, near Belgrade Nostrovsky. So she can be a country girl, but living in Kiev, just keep that in mind. What should be your daily budget? Well, that's kind of like saying how far does a car go in a tank of gas? Depends on, you know, what your lifestyle is like. But generally, on average, 100 bucks a day plus dating expenses. Depends how you date as well. That should cover you know, 100 bucks a day your accommodation and your food. Again, add dating expenses on top of that. What about your money situation? Should you bring cash? Should you use credit cards, debit cards? I don't suggest you use credit cards at all really um, you can do a cash advance here but those aren't very reliable either so i suggest you bring like at least a grand as disposable you know spendable income mad money keep it you know for a rainy day keep it in case you have problems with bank cards notify your bank before you come let them know you're coming to ukraine otherwise you'll use it here and it'll get uh, locked down generally just bring bank cards, two bank cards, debit cards, and go to the ATMs here. You'll get money in the local currency, Grivna. So what about the early bird special? Well, it's basically 500 bucks off the sticker price of two Gs. And you also get the payment in three monthly installments of 499. So all you need to do to lock in your $500 early bird discount and lock in one of the 10 spots is click on the registration link, pay a 499 uh, first installment of three payments and boom. You're both locked in, your ticket is secured, and you've just saved yourself 500 bucks. Keep in mind, the seven days unlimited dating is worth two grand as a bonus in of itself. So you don't wanna miss the May 31st early bird uh, deadline or you'll lose out, right? And, and it might totally sell out. So what you wanna do is if you haven't already, go in the description below this video, click on the registration link and go ahead and register and you can pay your first $4.99 deposit right there. Hey, guess what? We're just about at my office. It's kind of my secret uh, Black Sea office here 
in Sergeyevka, right across the estuary, right on the Black Sea. It's a really cool spot to get away from the screaming kids sometimes and get some mental space and clarity. So uh, you're gonna love it. See you there in just a second. Hey, so what do you guys think of my shh, secret hideaway office here on the Black Sea? So like I said about the Key of Grand Ball event, about 13 of you guys have already registered. So if you're serious about coming to this thing, um, what you wanna do is don't wait another minute. It's gonna sell out, I'm pretty sure, before the early bird um, discount is finished, May 31st. Again, you get a $500 discount um, and you get, you know, it's split into three payments of so $499, and one of those payments, the first payment, locks in your $500 discount and of course your spot. You'll be one of 10 guys coming to this lucky thing. If there is more than 10, we'll have a second event. Uh, it will probably be August, mid-August, but it depends what you guys want, okay? So again, just go in the description below this video and click on the registration, sign up, put down your 500 bucks and you're locked and loaded, you're good to go. You can always reach out to us if you have some questions, but definitely grab a spot before she sells out. 604-998-8051 uh, is our office number. You can text us or call us, or you can email us at info at matchguarantee.com. Uh, but like I say, best thing to do is grab a ticket right now by clicking on the registration link in the description below this video. We'll see you guys in Kiev for the Kiev Grand Ball event. Bye now. Welcome to the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv. Spring is in the air. You can smell love is in the air. And I have a special announcement for you guys. Five reasons why you definitely want to attend this summer's Grand Ball event with Mass Guarantee. 